कमोडिटी मार्केट्स की बात जब कर रहे हैं तो कमोडिटी मार्केट्स पर और भी कई सारे एक्सपर्ट्स से हमने बातचीत की और बातचीत के नतीजे क्या निकल कर आए उनकी अभिराय क्या है कमोडिटी मार्केट्स पर ये सब हमने जाना नेपिन कैपिटल के मैनेजिंग पार्टनर गौतम त्रिवेदी ने हमसे खास बातचीत में कहा कि कमोडिटी की बढ़ती कीमतें बाजार के लिए बड़ी चिंता है उनके मुताबिक कमोडिटी के दाम में तेजी आगे भी बने रहने की उम्मीद है deploy over the last couple of days and uh, you know you can't time the uh, the bottom and i know a lot of people think uh, they can but we certainly can't and as a result uh, you know we, again the question is how bad does it how ugly does this get is this the worst that we've seen or does putin go after other other countries we just don't know um, and uh, if if uh, the commodity even if even if putin and uh, and uh, ukraine basically come to some sort of a ceasefire i don't think the sanctions go away within a couple of weeks they will stay for some more time so the impact that you've seen on commodities across the board and given the fact that russia and the ukraine are uh, uh, the second largest uh, uh, producers of commodities in the world after the after the united states that i think is a major cause for concern and you know that's inflationary and obviously uh, would mean that the fed may be compelled to move faster than than they thought uh, they would so yes uh, we have started to nibble and, and actually start started buying stocks that we think uh, you know have reached our price points if you look at the uh, the market as a whole and you know we've seen uh, from the bottom on the 23rd of march uh, 2020 when uh, global markets crashed the nifty rallied 144% uh, up to uh, october of 2021 now if, if you see there after that's when the fi selling actually began and uh, we've seen a major correction of almost uh, uh 16 to 17% uh, since then and uh, the correction continues the fi selling also continues and i don't see that slowing down anytime soon but what that's done is while the headline infl- uh, index has not fallen as much the individual stocks within the bsc 500 universe have fallen significantly so uh, i was doing this math yesterday 95 stocks have corrected 40% or more from their respective uh, 52 week highs 394 stocks have corrected 20% or more on their respective 52 week highs which effectively tells you that the 80% of the bsc 500 stocks are in a bear market so uh, there is plenty to choose from and frankly anybody can just run a screen and uh, you'll be able to find some amazing stocks that that we thought were invincible and have had actually major corrections ओके okay, तो क्लियरली अब गौतम त्रिवेदी का नजरिया यहाँ पर हम देख रहे हैं तो गिरावट वाले स्टॉक का को पर्टिकुलरली अच्छी तरीके से सिलेक्ट करके माइंडफुल सिलेक्शन करके निवेश का मौका इस बार ढूंढना चाहिए